In this video, I'll be comparing Superbase versus AppRide, which are two of the most popular open source backend as a service platforms, and I'll go over what they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one might be the better fit for your needs. So first I'll go over the primary functions and target audiences. Superbase is open source backend as a service built on PostgreSQL, often positioned as a Firebase alternative. Superbase is best for developers who want relational SQL power, real-time syncing, and edge serverless functions. So it's ideal for apps needing complex data modeling, real-time updates, and strong SQL support. Then on the other end we have AppRide, which is an open source, self-hostable, all-in-one backend server for web, mobile, and Flutter developers. It's great for teams wanting to customize hosting and use multiple backend services in different programming languages. Now I'll give you an overview of their core features. Superbase's database has PostgreSQL with migrations, SQL queries, and strong relational modeling. In terms of authentication, you have email and password, OAuth providers, magic links, phone, SSO, plus row level security. Then the storage, you have file and object storage with secure access and CDN support. In terms of edge functions, it's Dino-based, low-latency serverless functions, and you can do auto-generated REST APIs from your database. Now, AppRite is document-based with platform-wide consistency. In terms of authentication, you also have email and password, as well as OAuth2, API keys, magic URLs, SMS, MFA, and team and role management. You have secure storage with image processing, compression, and encryption. They have a multi-language serverless function deployable via Git with scheduling. And there are customizable APIs, webhooks, and they have a plugin system. Now I'll give you a snapshot of their performance. So Superbase has an average function latency of around 60 milliseconds and around 167 requests per second throughput. And then they have 30 millisecond real-time messaging optimized for edge performance. Now AppRide has around 80 millisecond average function latency, then 125 requests per second throughput, and around 40 milliseconds real-time messaging. So it trades some speed for flexibility. Now in terms of self-hosting and the developer experience, AppRide has a strong Docker-based self-hosting with full feature parity to cloud, Git-based function deployments, and easy local development. With Superbase, self-hosting is possible, but more complex. Some cloud-only features are not included out of the box. Now I'll go over some of their strengths and weaknesses. So first, for Superbase, the strengths are the transparent pricing, it's reliable for production, strong SQL control, and real-time excellence. Then the weakness is self-hosting is harder and less feature-complete. Then for AppRite, the strengths include it's highly flexible, self-host friendly, language agnostic and modular. The weakness, it is a less mature ecosystem, occasional bugs with relational-like document handling. So which one may be best for you? First, I would pick Superbase if you need relational SQL database power, if you care about low latency edge deployed functions, or if you prefer a managed cloud-first approach with real-time database syncing. On the other end, I would go with AppRite if you need strong self-hosting capabilities, if you want multi-language function support, or if you value modular backend services and API flexibility. So that concludes this comparison of Superbase versus AppRite. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.